Hi, this is Graham Bell. I'm speaking with Oren Katz here, Vice President of Applications Engineering at Real Intent. Hi, Oren. Hi, Graham. It's early February. We're getting ready for the Super Bowl game this weekend. But today we're going to talk about clock domain crossing verification. Uh, what is clock domain crossing verification? So clock domain crossing is an area of verification uh, that uh, deals with uh, signals going from one domain or what we call clock domain in design to another clock domain in design. And it couldn't really be verified with uh, simulation, timing analysis. Those tools are not covering the entire span of issues that could uh, come out of clock domain verification or sorry, clock domain crossing. Therefore, a set of tools that evolved over the last, say, seven to ten years to, to cover uh, CDC verification or, or clock domain crossing um, using structural and formal technologies. And, and it has been defined as a, a set or different set of checks, different uh, area of verification of itself. So is clock domain crossing getting harder to do? What, what's the trend? So the, the basic technology or the basic technology challenge is the same. Nothing has changed dramatically over the uh, years with uh, the nature of the circuits and the type of checks or a failure mechanism that uh, you could find using uh, those checks. However, the complexity of designs, uh, number of clocks people are using, number of uh, different frequencies that people have to use because of the complexity of design is increasing, and uh, those uh, create new, new challenges in uh, CDC verification. Um, you know, a quick example would be uh, just a sheer number of, of errors that I'm getting of a design. You know, it used to be uh, smaller blocks, you can get you know, tens to hundreds of checks uh, reported, but uh, in today modern SOCs on a typical subsystem, you could run a, a, a block level and get uh, thousands, sometimes to tens of thousands of crossings on a single block. Then what do you do? You have to have very accurate, fast technology to pinpoint the the actual issues um, that could have could be failing, um, and versus just reporting everything that uh, you find in design or every single crossing you find in design. So being accurate, being fast, um, and have basically less noise on uh, uh, CDC verification or with CDC uh, verification tools has become very important. Uh, one. Other challenge that we've seen in the last uh, couple of years uh, is where uh, netlist failures have been introduced. So uh, when we look at, at uh, a few years back, uh, people are mainly checking RTL and then uh, starting to see uh, over the last few years failures where RTL is actually clean using a CDC tool, but synthesis tool implementation tools adding uh, new uh, failures. Um, on, on the CDC paths that are not known to designer. So designer is signing off on RTL, get a CDC failure in silicon. So that's a, a new challenge uh, that we're seeing. Real Intent has uh, the Meridian line of uh, CDC analysis products. Can you talk a little bit about those? Right, so on one hand we have the traditional RTL CDC and the Meridian CDC. And it covers everything that I mentioned before. Uh, we can run small blocks in few seconds, larger blocks in, in few minutes. It's, it's high capacity, it's very fast. And even up to SOC, some of our users are running SOC level CD, CDC verification at RTL and are able to produce meaningful and, and accurate results. Um, and we cover huge amount of, of checks. Uh, and that way, if you have a certain methodology, you have a certain set of checks that you're interested in your design flow, we can help you customize the tool to support those checks. And that has been around for uh, over seven years uh, and, and you know working very well. As I mentioned, uh, last few years we've been seeing more and more uh, netlist failures uh, that are very hard to catch. Actually, you cannot catch them in RTL, but they're pretty hard to catch even at netlist. And there are no tools there, actually. There are no technologies to do that. Uh, so uh, we right now offer the Meridian Physical CDC. Uh, the Meridian Physical CDC doesn't do the entire verification all over again. We rely on the user designer to do RTL CDC with Meridian CDC and then run physical CDC only for uh, glitch checks. So this is a, a, a formal and structural tool takes, that takes a netlist, takes the design constraints uh, that you used either in synthesis or your uh, RTL CDC verification and we're targeting just areas of the design or failure mechanism that could be introduced by implementation tools. So that's Meridian Physical CDC. What's a favorite feature of the Meridian toolset that you like? One of my favorite, I would say, 
top top favorite feature would be uh, the accuracy. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, you know, if I'm getting 50,000 uh, messages out of a tool, there's not so much I can do as a designer. I mean, I need to go through all of them. I will wave a large number of them, and chances are I will miss something. Having a tool that can basically show you out of the box after you've done your setup, um, just those errors that are worth reviewing has a lot of value into the SOCs, and I think that's my favorite feature in Merton. It's very, very accurate, even on large designs. Oren, thanks for speaking with us today about uh, the CDC verification problem and real intense Meridian CDC tools. Thank you, Graham. Always a pleasure.